Welcome, welcome, welcome to an all new episode of GVN Under 10, the show where we try to break down a specific topic in under 10 minutes. Our first episode, we failed, but I think our second episode, we nailed it. (laughs) Um, So for today's episode, we will be talking about TV shows and movies that are finished filming um, that are supposed to come out this year um, that due to the coronavirus, should they be released now rather than making us wait till later um i want to introduce tia and aj who will both be uh doing this show with me and are joined with me for this episode i'm going to start with you tia because this was your great topic um your thoughts on the topic yeah so i mean we've been kind of going back and forth with this for a while i remember um one of our you know good friends uh you know, Christopher over at HN Entertainment a while ago said, you know, that the movie theater should postpone the movies and not release it on video on demand. But I think that that was a little bit of wishful thinking a couple of weeks ago where we thought that we would be in the clear much sooner than we're going to be. At this point, it looks like everything's a wash this year. And that's pretty crazy to think about considering we're just now in April um, and we have a lot more months to go. But Sony just pushed all of its movies to 2021. And so my opinion is, so I wanted to start this at first with TV shows really quick, right? There are plenty of TV shows that are completed. And I think that if they are completed, move up the date. Don't release them in August or something. If you have a show and it's completed, um, release it now. We're all indoors. We're all like dealing with uh, self-isolation anxiety. The news is constant dread all the time. And I think that it would be lovely to have just a little bit of a distraction. Um, Like uh, Showtime is coming out with billions, right? And there was a trailer. So it's done. It's a done deal. Just release it. Don't wait. Um, Or, you know, if Netflix has some shows completed move them up because there are a lot of shows that were currently filming that had to shut down productions such as a lot of netflix series um and there's a lot of movies that have been shut down so before we started we talked about say morbius and new mutants at this point Uh, now my personal thing is i would wait a little for morbius um but i wouldn't wait for new mutants why wait for new mutants it's been delayed a thousand times put it out on hulu let's just get that done and i feel this way now about black widow um i will pay the 1995 that they're asking say for like birds of prey and all that i will pay that to watch it because if you they don't even have a release date for black widow um so you're gonna have to wait to put that in theaters you're gonna have to push back all your other movies because that is supposedly the beginning of the fourth phase so in my opinion if there are finished movies just put them out it sucks um and i know that movies wanted to have that big theater experience but at this point they are hemorrhaging money what would you rather you know put it out online and yes there's going to be people who are pirating it but you're going to have people who buy it it's the same thing if it's in movie theaters people are going to pirate that shit anyway so i know that i've been rambling and we're going to keep this under 10 minutes but my opinion is with the way things are going just put them out put them out on video on demand well, the, the biggest thing is uh, you, you're not really doing yourself any favors because I can tell you this. Let's say everything is cleared up. They kind of have protocols. Everything kind of slowly goes back to normal. And life as we know it is back to normal come September. Mm-hmm. I can tell you what people won't want to be doing. is sitting in their house watching your new episodes of whatever the hell you just came out with. Right. They'll want to be outside. They'll want to make up for the entire summer that they might potentially miss. I'm sure you're going to have the people that still work, come home, and it's a Friday night, maybe. But I'm going to tell you this. A lot of vacations are going to be made up. A lot of uh, ceremonies or dances or all that stuff will be made up come whenever this stuff clears up. So you're going to be depending on, what, 5% of the world still being at home to watch your show uh, within the first few days of it coming out. I say that's that that's a long shot. Um, so why not release it when you know they're at home? Because if you're a streaming service, it's different from a movie theater. 
a movie theater is like, I need people to come out to see me. So obviously you want to wait until people are willing to go out. A streaming service is, is catered for people to be sitting on their couch or in their bed watching it. Why not do it when we have to sit in our bed or on our couch um, because we can't go out? This is the perfect time. There is no need to wait. And I don't want to hear those people that say, well, what are you going to do when things go back to normal come August or September? You worry about that come August or September? I'm going to be, I mean, I'm going to want to be outside at that point. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's very true. But even if you flavor it like, uh, why, why release Black Widow now when you can maybe do it in like, say, October, or November? I say that's idiotic, mainly because you're now crowding the second half of, of the year that you have to think like this. Almost every other studio might be thinking the same thing. I want to release my movie now. Um, but what's going to suck for us most is 2021 is going to become so depressing because everything we were supposed to get in 2021, we now won't. Um, because there's no way everyone's going to make up all this filming time um, in the next few months to fast track it to come out next year. They'll want to take their time, make sure everyone's 100% healthy, and then slowly build back up their set pieces and stuff like that. So everything we were hyped to see in 2021 will now be residue of 2020. Um, so that will suck. Um, but AJ, what, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, this is this is tough because, yeah, um, the movies that are being delayed right now is going to start crowding the, what, fourth second third um period of movie of movies scheduled on that on those days um but you still have people that are out of jobs out of work right now because some of their jobs are not listed as an essential job so um money is going to be hard to come by um having movies go straight to vod or whatever having it be $20, I feel like that's going to be hard on those type of people. So there won't be a lot of people that will just get the movie for $20. Um, so that's tough. And you also have us well, who will definitely get it, but it's that's a low percentage of people that uh, will definitely start um, just getting $20 a movie just to start critiquing it, start – just staying up to date. That's that's a lot of money going down. And I see why people won't do that. But it's hard. It, I think it's hard for... Um, uh, well, excuse me. Um, businesses to um, try to figure out what they want to do. To either wait. Because if they wait... I, I feel like it's definitely going to... People are, are going to start going back to the movies if everything goes right, goes as planned. And it, it will start booming at the movie theaters. It will start booming at restaurants, everything that's been basically just um, um, been shut down um, from this virus. So I see why they would want to wait. But at the same time, you're still losing money at this point in time, just holding on to your movies. And that that's going to be hard for businesses as well. So th this is a tough <laughs> um, topic to just have 10 minutes of talking about. But ultimately, I think they should wait until everything blows over. Um, just because a lot of people can't afford the $20 a movie to just um <laughs> just watch to just watch a movie because they still have to worry about food and um maintenance stuff and all of that so see I I, I disagree I, I'm gonna wrap it up with with this I, I disagree I, I think you have the same situation no matter what I know people that can't afford the $15 that it costs to do um, a, a regular ticket, even in the best of times. Um, so you're always going to have those those percentage of people that just don't really value um, the movie going experience. But that's why you have movie not... pass. You can watch multiple movies at a time. Yeah. 
Yeah, but that's why you also have a streaming service. That's where me and Tia are, are suggesting that you release these on. Yeah. Uh, well, like, if you don't have a streaming... Go ahead. Well, like certain movies, right? If they want to hold on to, say, Black Widow, The Eternals, for the movie-going experience, I understand that. But movies like New Mutants, Mulan, other, say, Disney movies and shit like that that aren't these massively big blockbuster movies release them on disney plus that's why you have that platform you're already losing out on viewership probably because now all of the disney plus shows are at a stalemate so release some of these movies that you have just sitting in the vault so my and so i kind of uh, am split between the two of you like i understand what aj says because you know that's my big reason as to why i don't always go to the movie theater i pick and choose which movie I want to go to because of the money. But, you know, there, as you said, Juwan, that's going to be the last thing that's on people's minds. Like, yes, the restaurants are 100% going to open back up because I can't wait to start actually getting a cocktail at a bar again. <laughs> but, you know, uh, and movie theaters are certainly going to do well, uh, I think. But for right now, as we're all in, you got to start releasing your content. Stop holding on to it. And that goes for both movies and TV shows. I just think the idea of money is some is somewhat irrelevant, mainly because, as you just said, Tia, that is sometimes an issue of people, even when there's not a mass hysteria going on of a, of a massive virus um, where you can't go to your job. There's people that are going to their jobs that are still like that wouldn't be a person that's high on my list. So, I mean, it, it's 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 a, to me, that's not a large enough percentage to really worry about it. Mainly because if you look at it, you kind of go, well, if you look at the, the level of poverty in America, and then you look at what these movies are making in the box office in the U.S., you kind of go, well, this just doesn't add up. Like, there's just more people seeing movies than it seems to be people that can't afford to go see it. Um, so I look at it and I just go, I don't think if you have a big, uh, a, bi a, a major release, you should hold on to it. Would I rather see Black Widow in theaters? Yes, I personally don't want New Mutants released um, to a streaming service only because it's a horror movie. Horror movies does nothing to me on my television. I need that IMAX feel. I need that feel to where the surround sound is booming and I, I'm hearing the intensity coming um, right before something scary jumps out or something like that. To me, I'd rather experience that there. Mulan is like the last thing I could, I, I could care <laughs> about. That can come on Disney Plus and I'll watch it See, years down the road. but that's the thing. People look forward to going to the movies rather than g just watching at their house because of what you just said. That experience, yeah, yeah. But you don't, you don't have that option right now. That's my point. You don't have that option. So if you're Disney Plus that doesn't really have original content dropping like that, if you have something you can release, release it. And I guarantee you. Uh, if you release Mulan right now, whether it's people to say that they hated it or people to say that they loved it, that will be conversation. You do that to New Mutants, that will be conversation. I know they would never do it, but if, uh, uh, what you call it, Warner Brothers ever wanted to drop Kong uh, versus Godzilla, that would be topic of conversation. I'm scared all for Warner things, Brothers. <laughs> I, I'm scared for Warner things, Brothers. All these things would be topic of conversations and would only enhance things for you and to me there's what, what's the issue with a re-release are you telling me whoever sees black widow tomorrow wouldn't want to go see it in theaters again come november i i i, I wouldn't i wouldn't bet money on that so to me it's one of those things to where it's like it, it shouldn't be an issue i mean we just saw joker it came out did huge numbers and what did they do right around oscar time they put it back in theaters and people went back to go see it and that was in a, a, a few months so you telling me you doing it in April and then re-releasing it in November, December, people definitely would still go see Black yeah, yeah, Widow. Yeah, that's true. They did it with um, Endgame too, right? They did yeah, and they China. Did. They did. And China was yeah. originally uh, planning on re-releasing re a lot of big uh, name movies like Endgame, Avatar, and even uh, their own like Wolf Warrior 2 from 2017. So yeah, they can totally re-release yeah. it. All I'm saying is it does not hurt you because whoever sees it now, they're not going to go, oh, man, I loved it so much, but I was only willing to pay the $20 this one time to see it. You have no idea what people's mindsets will be at come November or December. 
if this thing's over in July and everyone's life goes back to normal and you want to release it in November, December, I think people would definitely be game to go see it again. I can tell you this right now. They have my money. <laughs> if I saw it tomorrow, Facts. I'd pay $20. <laughs> if I saw it in November, I'd pay another $15 to go see it. Um, so to me, I feel as though there is a percentage of people that would. Maybe it won't be as high as if it would if you just released it in theaters. But it would be, let's say, instead of it being 100%, if you just release it in theaters, I'd feel 100% confident saying it would be 55 to 65% of people that would see it in a re-release format in theaters. So to me, it's like there is no losing. There is no lose-lose, win-lose, lose-win. It's only a win-win. You release it now, you do your numbers. You release it then, you do your numbers. So to me, I just feel like holding it, Just who's that doing justice for? Because we're, we're dying inside waiting for you, one, to tell us when it'll be released, and then two, waiting till that date to have it released. I can't tell you how excited I was, the idea of like we were getting into March, and I'm like, if they stay in May, we're so close, and then they, they took it. So I'm like, to me, you're only pissing me off more. <laughs> the idea that it's done and I have to wait till infinity to actually see it. But um, Tia, great topic. This might be one that we revisit, have to re, uh, <laughs> revisit in, in a Geek Vibes Live episode for sure. Um, thank you, AJ. Thank you, Tia. You both had great points. Hopefully this episode was under... <laughs> 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 um, but... Uh, but even if it wasn't, it was a great conversation nonetheless. I uh, had a lot of fun with you guys. Make sure you guys tune in every time we put out an episode of GVN Under 10. We were trying our best to keep smiles on you guys' faces in this tough time. Um, so join us and have fun with us. But till next time, peace. See ya.